Range fans, check it out. Check it out. Man, look at this setup today. I'm absolutely excited. You haven't seen this one in a while, and I haven't been around in a while. Life happens, folks. Life happens. I would say keep the prayers coming in. Um, I'm going to leave what's going on with the missus out of it, but let's just say we have some difficulties there with health. But everything is recovering, and hopefully she'll be back on the men and get out here on the range with us today. Hey, folks, check it out. Ransom Master Rest. Front, you've seen it, and back. But you haven't seen it like this before. The front now has a windage adjustable on it. That's right. I can make slight minute windage adjustments from the rifle ransom master rest in the front and also now ultimate stability. Ultimate stability with the ransom rear rest came with the bag and also windage adjustable. I've been playing with this thing this morning and I will tell you, no, I haven't done any lot testing, but I decided to bring old Wookie out, this beauty, and put it on the bench to match the beauty of the rifle master rest from Ransom International, folks. And we've got some Lapua Center X. Haven't did the lot testing like I stated, but we're going to do our best with the Center X this morning. The Remex and Douglas Barrel Setup by DPG Gunworks on one inch targets downrange. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Time to get after it. Let's put them on target. <laughs> Folks, you saw some of the close-ups of this rear rifle rest from Ransom. It's got three feet triangular as you see it. This thing is heavy. You know what? 300 wind mag, I don't think it would be any problem. I had to bring these things out one at a time. Made me think I need to get back in the gym for a few little curls there. But again, came with the bag. You can order with the bag, different size bags from Ransom International. Windage adjustable. It's got a bubble level in it. Yeah, dead center. Thank goodness. Uh, I just don't know what else to say about it. I'm tickle pink. I just can't say enough good about this thing. We're going to see how good it is today as we put this Center X through the Remex on target. And you know what? All right, here we go. Let's get this thing adjusted on the first target. I've got 10 rounds loaded up in the magazine, another five rounds here from this box of Center X. Let's see what she does. Okay, that's natural point of aim, and look at that old smooth windage. <laughs> that's all right. Man, that's nice and crisp. All right, here we go, folks. Oh, that, why is that way so off? Not even on target. That first cold bore shot, whoo, that was ugly. But you know what? Man, this thing is just resting right in there. It's a nice setup. I say so myself. And we're going to use the windage to move to the next target. We're not going to touch anything else, move anything else, and just slide it right on over to the next target. Come down a little bit. Because, of course, I couldn't align the targets just right. And look at that. Not too bad, especially not to have lock tested this thing. We're just going to put five more rounds in this thing and shoot another five round group on a one inch crybaby maker. That's because they generally make me cry. <laughs> All right, folks.
Again, no touching anything. The question is, for those of you that have used a setup like this before, help me out. Should I use windage adjustable in the front or in the rear? Because the rear has windage adjustable also. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is pretty nice, folks. I used the rear this time. Got it lined up on that third target that you see down there. Let's see. Doesn't feel, by the way, much different than having a rear bag here to me. Outside of that cold bore shot, folks, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Man, this might be the setup to get the most accuracy out of old Wookie. Remex receiver, Douglas Barrel, Wooks chassis, Ransom International Ransom Rest. Man, this is the cat's meow. Tell me what you think down below, folks. I'll show you a picture, close up picture of the groups and the sizes over at dayattherange.com. Folks, hang in there. There's more videos to come. I've had a few life lessons uh, come up. We are dealing with them as a family, and we'll get back to making some videos. Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out. All right, all right, folks. I couldn't go home just yet. You knew that. Ely Tenix is what we have here, and we're going to see what old Wookie can do with it. We're going to put this ransom to the test also. I got this thing set up on the center of the target. And down range, you can see that I have two black targets off to the right. We're going to adjust with the old ransom rest. Fine windage tune. See if we can get them on target. And we're going to put 10 rounds on both of those dots or five rounds a piece on each dot using the windage adjustment. Just a little play time. Both of those flyers went through the same hole. That's really odd. Huh. Well, I got five more rounds in here. We're going to do the windage adjustment. This time, we'll use the rear. And also, the good folks at Ransom International. I might call you up and talk to old Mike over there and see what is the best way to get the most accuracy out of this thing. I know one thing, it ain't the rest, folks. Five rounds. Shooting off to the right, way off to the right. The rifle just sits there i am digging this folks <laughs> yeah i'm going home this time see you next time folks